Hi guys, how's it going? Back again. Um, this time with some comics. If you've seen my last video, it's really, really hot. So if I look hot and bothered, it's because it's hot for once. Um, straight into it, I picked up. I thought this was going to be an enormous pile because I hadn't been for a few weeks as per usual, but it's not that big. Um, but it does contain something a little bit special. Pardon the cars. I've got my window open because it's so hot. Um, anywho, straight in with some independence, we have Fight Club number three. Number three. Uh, I'm enjoying this series so far. Um, was kind of interested, curious, to see, you know, as it's a direct sequel to the film, or the original book, uh, to see what they would do with it, and yeah, so far so good. Um, it's a little bit quirkier, I think, than it would be if it was another book or a film. I don't know if this story kind of existed in Chuck Palahniuk's head prior to his decision to do it as a comic, because it seems pretty comic booky to me, but I guess it's been kind of edited and, and reworked to fit the medium, so I'm enjoying it, but you know, it's kind of, it's very much in keeping with the original and the film, it's got that same kind of chaotic, almost kind of fun to it if you like that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm assuming it's a limited series, I don't actually know. Um, I can't imagine this is just going to run and run and run, um, but how big a series it is, I don't know. Um, but recommended, if you're not reading it and you're a fan of the first book or the film. Uh, a series that I'm not quite caught up on. I've done, I've done some comic reading recently, yay for me, um, and I've caught up on a few things. I'm not quite caught up on the woods. Um, I'm still really enjoying it. Um, I possibly liked it a little bit more when it was a little bit simpler, when it was just the kids in the school and the kids in the woods. Um, it was a little bit easier to follow. Um, with everything that's happened subsequently, I'm slightly less sure of everything that's going on and who everyone is. Uh, it doesn't help when you don't read it for a long time and then come back to it. But I still love the series, I still think it's it's a really great book. Um, very much love the way it's drawn. Um, some spoilers, even spoilers for me because I haven't read it yet. But it's really cool, if you're into that sort of style. So yeah, that's The Woods number 14, recommended. Next up, my favourite series. It's chapter 30 of Saga. I caught right up on this reason. I basically binge read about four or five issues in one go during my lunch break at work one day. And uh, yeah, it's still brilliant. Um, I know some people are less enthusiastic about this series um, than perhaps they used to be, but I've got no complaints whatsoever. I love it. Um, I think every issue is brilliant in its own way. Um, Fiona Staples art is still amazing. Colouring is still amazing. I don't think I'm ever going to not love this book. I think Brian K. Bourne would have to, you know, go a bit mental to kind of ruin it. So, love it. I'll probably read that issue tomorrow. Uh, next up, a book I'm a bit behind on is issue 12 of The Wicked and the Divine. Um, not too much to say about this series that I haven't said before. I really like the series. I really love the art. Sometimes it's a bit kind of pompous in its own funny little way, but it's really good. I realised recently that I'm missing an issue. Um, I think I'm missing issue number 10 possibly, 10 or 11. So I'm kind of not reading this at the moment until I manage to get hold of a copy of that issue. I don't think I ever picked it up from the shop. So my man's going to get me a copy, but looking forward to getting up to speed on that. Um, a series I have loved from the get-go, Southern Bastards, number 10. Um, I just got caught up on this red two or three issues again kind of binge read them um, it's fantastic that it was the second arc and that second arc was way different than I was expecting it to be I wasn't expecting it to be about what it was about um, and that was that was brilliant it was so brilliantly done um, it wasn't a series I originally you know I was keen to pick it up because I like Jason Aaron but I wasn't expecting too much from it it's, it's definitely one of my favorite series um, very looking forward, very looking forward, very much looking forward to seeing kind of what happens in this. Um, 
again, I kind of feel like Southern Masters is a series that can't kind of go on forever. It probably could. They could surprise me and do all sorts of things with it. I don't know, but uh, I will be picking it up for as long as it does run for, I suspect. So, um, Last, but by no means least and kind of deliberately last uh, for the independent comics is uh, Sex Criminals number 11 um, for anyone that reads Sex Criminals in singles you're probably aware that for issue 11 they did a special series of sketch variants where Chip Zdarsky and Matt Fraction sketched on the covers in a kind of designated area and they then blind bagged those issues I think largely because so that people wouldn't know which was which, and because they're kind of adult, shall we say. Um, I believe there's a thousand worldwide, a thousand copies they sketched on, which I would imagine makes them pretty rare. Sex Criminals is a pretty popular book. I'd imagine it's on quite a lot of people's lists, so I would think the chances of getting one of the thousand sketch variants is pretty slim. Anywho, I opened up my copy this morning, Assuming I wouldn't have one, but to my surprise, and look away now if you're easily offended, there is a cock, balls and asshole on the front cover of my Sex Criminals 11, with, I believe, Matt Fraction's signature. So Matt Fraction has drawn a cock, balls and farting ass on the cover. Which I'm very pleased about. As I kind of, I'm not really in a position to go to conventions and kind of meet creators and stuff like that. The likelihood of me ever getting things signed or sketched on is pretty slim. So I'm very pleased to have this. And as, you know, of all the things to have, this extremely crude, you know, kind of depiction is pretty awesome. So thanks, Matt Fraction. Thanks for drawing this incredibly interesting view of a man doing what he's doing. Yeah. As far as the series goes, still really enjoying Sex Criminals. It's kind of taken a little bit of a different sort of turn. Um, I think a lot of people loved the first arc, and then it kind of went off on a bit of a tangent. But I've always really enjoyed it. It's a light-hearted read. It's fun. I feel like issues don't come out very often. I feel like it's a long time since I've read an issue. But I think I'm up to date on Sex Criminals. Um, I'm half tempted to frame this issue, but I probably won't. I'll probably just bag and board it as per. But yeah, so that was a bit of a surprise. It's quite hard to explain to anyone this as to you know if my wife sees this there's going to be questions <laughs> moving on uh, DC issue number 42 of Batman uh, I am up to speed on this I finished Endgame uh, which I enjoyed um, although the ending had kind of been spoiled for me because internets um, I really enjoyed it it was a good ending it did what I thought it was going to do I thought it was well done where it's going now, spoilers, um, with Jim Gordon, I, yeah, why not? Um, I kind of felt like in the artwork, maybe I'd miss it. I think it's just because they took his, like, tash off. He looks younger than I kind of feel like he should look. I feel like he should be an older dude, but, you know, that's probably just me not really paying attention in the comics, but, you know, they've given him a haircut and taken his tash off and suddenly he looks, you know... Not very old spoilers. There he is. There's Jim. I'm very interested to see where they're going with this. Um, Batman's clearly not Batman. Batman. Bruce Wayne's clearly not dead. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how, when, if they bring him back, they will bring him back eventually. Um, so yeah, I look forward to this. I'm only picking up two DC books these days. This and Green Lantern. Not picking up any of the Robin stuff, not really interested in it at the moment. Um, but what I like about Batman is they kind of treat it as a completely standalone thing, even though they're doing something totally different in the rest of the DC universe, or at least with um, uh, blah, 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 Justice League. 
where I think it's still Bruce Wayne. You know, they just get to do whatever they want with this, which is cool. So yeah, it's good. Um, things got a bit out of order. There's, there we go. Uh, next up, issue 42 of the aforementioned Green Lantern. I've not read issue 41 yet. Um, again, I've not heard great things. So I'm, I don't know. Green Lantern's one of the first things I kind of read when I got into comics, graphic novels. Um, but I don't want to be picking something up just for the hell of it, so I think what I need to do is read these two issues and see. It's probably not going to make any sense to me because I've not read the stuff leading up to it. But I've got to kind of see whether or not Green Lantern does it for me at the moment. If it doesn't, I think I've just got to knock it on the head. And as I've said before, just... I probably won't bother picking up the new 52 trades that I don't have. I have all of the Jeff Johns ones. And the pre... I have the Jeff Johns run, essentially, on the main Green Lantern book. In hardcover trades. Um, the, with this creative team, I've got the first trade they put out. And I haven't got the rest, and it's quite a few books to fill in the gaps, because of all the fucking crossovers they insisted on doing. We'll see. You know, it's it's four dollars, whatever that is in pounds. It's not the cheapest book. Um, we'll see. It's I'm gonna have to be actively enjoying it, not just. It's got to be more than satisfactory. Um, last three books are all Marvel. We have number seven of Star Wars. Still really behind on this. Really behind on this. I assume issue seven. We're pretty much into another arc now. Don't know. Um, I've got some reading to do uh, to catch up on these. Um, this is kind of I've, I've got a batch of independent stuff to get through, and then I'm going to uh, sort out some of these, binge read some of these Marvels. Uh, so I can't really proffer up much about Star Wars. I'd love to know what you think about it. Uh, I don't hear that many people talking about it, which surprises me. I kind of assumed that everyone would be reading Star Wars, but if they are, they ain't talking about it. At least none of the people I kind of watch. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I still like the art. Um, I don't know if they've changed artists, because it looks a little bit different. I don't think so. It looks interesting. I just got to get around to actually reading it. Um, same goes for Darth Vader. It makes sense to me to read Darth Vader and the main Star Wars book, but I love this cover, by the way. It's pretty iconic. Um, but, yeah, if I had to be dropping some comics, I would, as I've said before, consider ditching Darth Vader. I think I prefer the art in this. I think it's a better looking book currently. Than the main title. Done quite a good job with the colours. It does all look, you know, like the Star Wars universe. Um, and I like Kieran Gillen as a writer. He's the same writer as The Wicked Men in the Bind. Um, he does some good stuff. I quite enjoyed his recent run on Iron Man. So, yeah. I just gotta read them. But who has the time? Lastly, issue number four of Secret Wars. I've not read any of these yet. There's such a lot of material that I haven't read from Marvel now. I've read, I think, the first three or four Avengers trades. And that's it. I read the other event books. But I don't know how much sense this is going to make to me. Um, it's part of me just wants to sit on it, get all the other Avengers trades, read all that stuff. It's just a bit of a ball ache the way they're releasing the Avengers trades now. They did volumes one through, I don't know, like volume one through six, I think, or volume one through seven. And then it's the time runs out trades, which seems to be Avengers and new Avengers in one trade, I guess, because otherwise the story doesn't make sense. So I think they've actually stopped doing the Avengers trades. I'm a bit confused, to be honest. I need to figure it out and buy what I need to buy to complete the story. Um, but I might just read this. I understand what's happened and why 
these events have unfolded, so I might just have to give it a whirl. Um, it looks nice, and I really like Hickman's work. Um, big fan of his writing. It looks cool. So, I'm finding Marvel pretty complicated at the moment to follow along with. Series have ended. Um, some new stuff coming, some new stuff I'm interested in. I've said before, I don't really want to read any trades for Marvel and DC moving forward. Just because it just gets complicated. You just, like with these Avengers trades, it, you suddenly find yourself reading stuff that you weren't actually picking, you wouldn't read in single. It's all just a bit all over the place. I'd like to distill it down to a few titles that I really enjoy. Just pick those up in singles. But then everything's so fragmented. You know, you've got God knows how many different X-Men books, rather than just there being one X-Men book with all the characters you know and love. There's, you know, fucking five of them or something. And it's all completely fragmented across them. I don't want to pick up that many. So you're kind of forced to choose, and if it's shit, then suddenly you ain't reading any X-Men. So, I don't know. Modern DC and Marvel is pretty bloody hard to follow along with. Yeah, independent books are a lot easier. But there you go. Anywho, that's enough of my ranting. Issue number four of Secret Wars. I think I will. Just get on with it. Um, need to start reading that. I'm making progress. My pile is... Uh, I've got a few issues at work, but it's it's smaller than it was. I've got something to add to it now, but... Uh, yeah, it's a bit smaller than it was. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Anywho, that's it. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about any of this. If anyone has similar frustrations with Marvel and DC, feel free to vent in the comments. In the comments, and I will see you again soon. Cheers, guys.